Today we're sleeping in the middle of the desert. Yep, in this dome right here. We're also exploring everything Clear Sky Resort has to offer, so we'll find out if spending the night in the middle of nowhere is a good idea or not, especially when things don't go as planned. Clear Sky Resort is situated far from city lights and close to nature wonders like the Grand Canyon. And let me tell you, if you're into astronomy and stargazing, this is the place for you. But more about that later. <laughs> I would open it. Oh, this feels much better. So as you can see, there is not much to it. We have our own bathroom, the toilet and shower. And we have coffee maker with coffee. So in the fridge, there is nothing but milk. But this is why we are here. Because of our Arizona sky and because of our stars. I'm going to close it because it's hot outside and I can feel it. Clear Sky Resort is deep within the Arizona desert. The isolation provides not just an intimate desert experience, but also some of the best stargazing you could wish for. But what makes this place unique? It's actually where you sleep, the domes. Each dome is partially see-through, so when I'm walking through this little village, I feel like voyeur. <laughs> Thankfully, you can pull the curtains all the way, but some people don't. Intentional. Imagine camping in the desert, but with all the luxury amenities you can think of. From comfortable beds to modern bathrooms. There is one dome which is not finished, so you can see the structure. This is still being built. Sometimes you just need to find a weird place to spend the night. I think that's what we are doing all the time. Last night we slept in a car. And tonight we're sleeping in a dome. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow it's home. We're going home. <laughs> Man, those colors are amazing. Sunset. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do for those first 1,000 subscribers, right? So say something smart. Per aspera ad astra. Google it. <laughs> Google <laughs> But you're probably wondering, what else can you do during your stay? Well, there's a lot you can do. You can go hiking, biking, and you can even do a helicopter tour of the Grand Canyon if you want to. Of course, none of these activities are included with your resort fee, but since the resort is located close to the Grand Canyon and Flagstaff, the possibilities are really endless. Whether you're a couple looking for a romantic getaway or a family wanting to experience the desert together, there's probably a dome tailored for you. They even have themed domes like the British Secret Agent or the 80s video game domes that in all honesty, we thought were a little silly, but if you have kids, the themed domes might make their experience a little bit more fun and special food truck and restaurant and welcome dome. What do you feel like? I want a hot dog. And I want truffle fries. And we can share? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Can we get one ow, one chili dog and so, okay. and one truffle fries? Sure. You're gonna spell your ideas. This is like a restaurant? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, I can mm. subscribe. Wings and pasta with chicken. Do you think this hot dog is big enough? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. This hot dog came in a pizza box. That's how big it is. This is the first time I've had a hot dog with silverware. Oh, that's like a foot long hot dog. Of course you have to portion it. As the sun sets, the desert sky transforms into a celestial masterpiece. Telescopes are set up outside, and for an extra fee of $10 per person, you can sign up for a guided stargazing class which for us was actually one of the highlights of our stay. The instructor was so passionate about astronomy that even if you're not that interested in the subject, his passion for it was super contagious. The reason why it's old school is because it doesn't have any computerized electronics oh, on it. So you have to I'm know the what you're looking for. I gotta find things, yes. Mm -hmm. Like you're the computer. Yeah, you're... I'm the computer. I'm, yeah. I'm faster than that one. No yeah. way. Oh, yes, I yeah. am. We were even lucky enough to see a star explosion. I mean, it had already exploded like millions of years ago, but it was still pretty cool. Warm up the marshmallow and then you put it in the middle of the Can sandwich. Can I just eat it? Okay, so you will warm it up and then, and how about chocolate when the chocolate is coming in? Ooh, it's soft. Yeah, and then, yeah, there you go. Smash it. Is it good? No. 
<laughs> do you like it? I do. It's do. good. I'll make you another one. I don't want another one. <laughs> Honey, dinner. Mmm. This is better, I think, because I burned it. It's yours. Our first and only night in the dome was quite a successful one. What do you think? Yeah, I hope it's not the last night. It's super windy. It's not that bad. So would you come back? Oh, for sure. Would you recommend it? I would, especially for kids. You don't get staying at dome in the middle of the desert that often, right? I think this is a great place for somebody who is on the way to see Grand Canyon. It's about 20, 30 minutes from here. So this is the end of our time here. It's a great time, it was a lot of fun, lots of things to do. Ow! I need your help. What happened? Oh, these suck. Would you recommend it, Chica Chica? I would. You should check it out and we're going home. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel videos and we'll see you in two weeks.